for the sign of Capricorn hello and welcome to my channel in the present time we have the Hierophant and the Knight of Pentacles now this Hierophant with this card showing up in your reading you probably will start to feeling like you're searching for the meaning of life coming up in April and you're considered to be a great loyal friend that's what the Hierophant, Hierophant is about now, when this type of person is called on for advice or help with some important matters, their intelligence and their empathy, it puts them in a position to provide tremendous support. So this could be you, Capricorn, or this could be someone coming towards you in the month of April. Uh, they'll be quick-witted, well-educated, a wise teacher marked by integrity, they're considered the genuine article, a true blue. They're highly admired individuals. They walk the walk, talk the talk. They also stand firm in their beliefs and convictions. So, that's the Hierophant. And it's paired with this Knight of Pentacles. Now, this Knight of Pentacles... There's some type of message coming in. Some type of message coming in for you for April. It could be regarding money, finance, but it could go either way. You're likely to finally receive some type of news that you had been waiting on. And it's going to be really, really good news. Something you've been waiting for. Waiting to hear about. So... Also, when you get the Knight of Pentacles, it's about trying to pay attention to the mundane, normal parts of your life. You probably heard the saying, if you take care of the little things, the big things will fall into place. Well, this Knight of Pentacles, it asks you to look at how you're handling your affairs. And it's a very groundling influence. So, for your present time, the Hierophant and Knight of Pentacles... There's something coming in. Something really good. It could be a good situation. It could be good news. The Knight of Pentacles is about good news. Some type of message coming in. And it's what you really want to hear. And because it's with this Hierophant, um, it's going to make you think. Yeah, it's going to make you think and it's going to make you um, feel like someone is on your side that's really loyal and true or it's going to make you want to be that way it's going to make you want to stand tall and walk the walk and talk the talk it's going to make you feel really proud something good is coming in and it's going to make you like this hierophant yeah so that's a really good thing. It's going to bring you a lot of confidence and um, make you feel like you want to be loyal. You want to be a true blue. So you're going to have a lot to be proud of with this message, news, good news that's coming in. Or maybe a good, great situation that's coming in for you. Um, yeah, so it's going to change you in a lot of ways, in a lot of good ways, if you're not already like this higher foot. So that's what we have for you for the present time. That's interesting. Now let's take a look at your person. If you're dealing with someone, how they see you. They see you like the hangman and the two of swords. Now this hangman, it's showing in the picture that you're at a crossroads it could be two option type of crossroads in or out up or down yes or no you could find that you're wanting to do something but you have no idea of what it is or how to do it so if that does happen coming up in april it's a sign that you should stop relax look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life situations could be people or things it's possible that 
there's an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. And I say this because any sacrifice that you make is going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. So this will probably be a thoughtful, reflective time for you, especially if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So if, it's talking, if we're talking about a relationship and you get the hangman, it's showing the theme of letting go. Maybe letting go of an un letting go of an unattainable lover, for example, bringing you the possibility that someone that you can be with will be there for you. But that's only one example. Like I said, you may need to let go of a particular vision of the kind of relationship as being the only way you can be happy. So it's about letting go of something. Yeah, and if you're in a relationship already and you get the hangman, that too could be at a crossroads. If you think everything in the relationship is fabulous and great, you need to find out where your partner's head is. Because something or someone's at a crossroads and it's about needing to let go of something. So this is how your person is seeing you, Capricorns. They see you as a same man. And it's paired with the Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords is showing that your partnerships, they're going somewhat well. Whether it's friendship, romantic, business. Um, and if they're not, if, if they're imbalanced or, they, or if it needs equality, it will be the time to bring things back into balance, but that's going to require communication, a lot of communication and talk, because nothing will change without effort. Yeah, so this is also how they see you. They see you as a hangman and the two of swords, so they see you stuck in your head and you're confused about something in this connection and with the two of swords here they see you as trying to make some difficult choice you could be ignoring some warning signs but then with the two of swords by doing so, it could move you into a lighter, easier, more balanced phase in this connection. So that's what it does with the Two of Swords. So it brings um, balance, or they could see you trying to balance out something. And they see you doing this because you're stuck in your head about something. You're at a crossroads. And like I said, it could be that you need to let go of an outdated attitude of, or wish of how you think things should be. Or you're just letting, you need to let go of something. And that's how they see you. You need to let go of something because you're stuck in your head. And the Two of Swords is here. They know that once you do that, it'll bring this connection to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase. Treating each other as equals. But for right now, they see you just stuck. Yep, they see you stuck in your head. So let's take a look at how you view your person. You view them as the Ace of Wands and you view them as the Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands is a beautiful card. Look how that wand is just bursting into the, to the clouds. 
it's not just sitting up there but it just it, it's bursting into the clouds so it's about brand new beginnings positive ones they're in the area of accomplishments and um, if you're having a difficult time now just know that things they are about to get much better very soon very soon this card is about upbeat optimistic and hopeful about the future with a really good cause so you could be feeling really energetic positive or you're gonna be feeling that way really soon now is also a good time to start something new and when you get the ace of wands and you're you some single Capricorns out there listening a new relationship is coming in so make sure you make yourself available for love in whatever way makes sense to you and if you're in a relationship and it's committed then it could undergo a new beginning some type of brand new beginning and will rise to new levels of possibly understanding each other so this Ace of Wands is beautiful card. That's how you see your person. You see them as very passionate with a lot of desire for this connection. Yeah, that's how you see them. And you also see them as this Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Swords is about, uh, once again, it's about some type of new beginning on several it could be on several fronts sometimes this new beginning with the ace of swords you hear that word swords that means you're cutting something out the new beginning it will be started by some type of separation from some kind could be from a relationship from a job situation just know as anxiety producing as a new beginning can sometimes be underneath it all is good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you want to go it calls on it calls on you not to be afraid to take a leap if it's in your best interest so uh, you see them as ready to start this brand new beginning that you got coming in you got a few of them here you see them ready to start but you also know that they need to put a stop to something you see them as needing to put a stop to something something has to be cut out for you to get these powerful new beginnings but they're very passionate and they have a lot of desire for this connection but there's a challenge there with this ace of swords so there's going to be a challenge something has to stop and then uh you too will experience um, uh, new beginnings and uh, the relationship will take off to new levels new uh, it could take off to the next level of understanding each other just and it will take off to new heights but like I said do you see them as as knowing that something has to stop though whatever it is there's some type of challenge there for for you to to get this new beginning and that's how you see them so let's take a look at why it's happening it's happening due to justice and three of wands now justice it's an interesting card it deals with the ideal of law of cause and effect it's important to remember not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the action of someone that we care about. So this can sometimes be as difficult and demanding um, because um, sometimes it's it's completely not of our own making what I'm trying to say is sometimes karma it comes to you not from what you've done but it could be from something someone that you don't even know like a ancestor or a family member 
from a long, long time ago that you never even met. They bring karma into our lives also. I don't know if there's some religious people out there that know the word, but it talks about how uh, some of us will be cursed because of things that our ancestors did a long time ago. Yeah, we all know curses they carry over into our lives from the past. Things that we don't even know about. So, that's just an example But what I'm trying to say with this justice card. Like I said, it's about the ideal of karma and law of cause and effect. So make sure you're not blaming yourself unnecessarily. If some things don't work out. Now karma can be good. You're getting, you're reaping what you have sown. Good things that you put out to the universe is coming back to you. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily if some things don't go your way. Because I'm, I'm just trying to say that karma is not always from what you've done. Okay, I hope I explained myself clearly. Also, when you get the justice card, if you are involved in some type of court case, it's going to be resolved in a large degree in your favor. So, this could be why a lot of things are happening in this connection. This is, this is why, uh, one of the reasons why, okay? Um, it's paired with the Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands, it's about things going much better in fact you'll be feeling like your ship has finally come in you'll be feeling really strong with a good reason you'll finally be experiencing some important success after you've been through some difficulties the three of wands that's what this justice is paired with it's an extremely positive card very positive your efforts are being seen and appreciated and respected. So, this is another reason why it's happening. So, we got justice and three of wands. So, you are your person with this three of wands. You're looking ahead. You want expansion. You want growth with this three of wands here. But then we've got this justice here. Things could be happening in this connection, whereas things are just out of your control, out of you and your person's control. So a lot of things will be brought to light. Maybe some, you get a lot of clarity and truth with this justice. And um, you or your person could feel justified. And a lot of things and it's going to bring about it looks like there's a lot of good karma coming towards this relationship because it's with the three of wands and like I said the three of wands is about feeling like your ship is finally come in and you'll be having a lot of success so there's a lot of good clarity coming in a lot of really good clarity good karma coming in and I say this, like I said, because it's with the Three of Wands. You two will feel like, wow, you finally have come together in a really positive way. And you two will be looking ahead towards the future. You're going to finally feel like some teamwork is in this connection. So it's going to expand and it's going to grow. Yeah, so it's good that the Three of Wands is here because it's saying the karma is, is good. What's coming into this connection is is ex, is good expansion and growth. So that's why it's happening. And basically for this reading, it looks like someone's stuck in their head. That's how they're seeing you. You're a little stuck in your head about something. Uh, maybe a little confused. But you see them as um, this great new beginning. 
a lot of great new beginnings on several fronts. And um, But they need to cut something out. Something has to stop. And then why it's happening is because um, there's some good things coming towards this connection with justice. And it's going to bring out some clarity and truth. And it's going to cause this connection to expand and grow. And you two will feel like, well, you two, you two will feel like you finally have come together. So, yeah, whatever you you were stuck in your head about it turns around for the better with this justice and three of wands yeah you'll feel like everything has finally everything finally feels like teamwork in this connection which is a good thing good thing good thing <laughs>